highest common factor and lowest common multiple, HCF and LCM. The first two questions will be a simple introduction to the HCF and LCM using perhaps one of the simplest methods out there. This is very suitable when we have small numbers. We will solve the next two questions with the help of a Venn diagram. Use this method when you have larger numbers, it's perfect for it. After you're confident enough to apply these methods, we are going to look at these two worded questions. These worded questions will not tell you whether you have to use HCF or LCM, I'll show you how to decide. And finally, we will solve a typical exam question on HCF and LCM. At any time throughout this video, if you have any questions, post it in the comment below and I'll help you. So let's get started. Question 1. What is the HCF of 30 and 24? The letters HCF stand for highest common factor, which means that we need to find the highest number that is the same in both of the lists. Factors of 30. To make it simple to list all of them, we're gonna take the factor pairs. Start with 1. 1 multiplied by what to make it 30? 1 times 30. So the first factor pair is 1 and 30 because 1 times 30 is equal to 30. The next factor pair is 2 and 15 because 2 times 15 is equal to 30. The next factor pair is 3 and 10 because 3 times 10 is equal to 30. And finally, the last factor pair is 5 and 6 because 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Now let's list the factors of 24. The first factor pair is 1 with 24. The next factor pair is 2 with 12. The next factor pair is 3 with 8. The last factor pair is 4 with 6. So we can start crossing out from the highest factors until we find a common factor. We can see that 6 is the highest number that is the same in both of the lists. So 6 is the highest common factor. Question 2. What is the LCM of 10 and 8? The letters LCM stand for lowest common multiple. In this question we will list the multiples and the number that we are looking for is the lowest number that is the same in both of the lists. Do you know your 10 times table? Then you know the multiples of 10. These are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and so on. Do you know your 8 times table? Then you will know the multiples of 8. These are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64 and so on. We're gonna choose the first number that is the same in both of these lists. So the lowest common multiple of 10 and 8 is equal to 40. Question 3. Find the HCF of 90 and 63. To build a Venn diagram, we will need the prime factor tree. To build the prime factor tree of 90, we're gonna have to think of two numbers that multiply together to make 90. These two numbers could be any two integers. To keep it efficient, I prefer to choose a prime number times another number to make it 90. We can see 90 is divisible by 2, it's an even number. And 2 is a prime number. So let's do this. 2 times 45 is 90. So the branches of 90 will be 2 and 45. The number 2 is a prime number, so we can leave it as it is. 45 is not a prime number. So now we have to find two numbers that multiply together to make 45. We can choose for the branches of 45, 5 and 9, because 5 times 9 is equal to 45. 5 is a prime number, so we leave it as it is. 9 is not a prime number, so we will continue its branches as 3 and 3, because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Let's construct the prime factor tree for 63. The first set of branches of 63 will be 3 and 21, 
the branches of the 21 is 3 and 7, which are prime numbers, so we can stop here. In these type of questions, we often have to know how to write numbers as the product of its prime factors. Product means times. Prime factors is what we see at the end of the branches, 2, 5, 3 and 3. So 90 as the product of its prime factors is 2 times 3 squared times 5. 63 as the product of its prime factors is 3 squared times 7. We will see it in the exam question right at the end how this form, this prime factorization form, can be used to solve HCF and LCM questions. Let's construct a Venn diagram. Let's look at the prime factors of 90. The 2 and 5 can only be found under 90, so we will write them here. These two threes are common in both 90 and 63, so we will write it in the overlap section. And finally 7 only belongs to 63, so we will write it here. The numbers inside the intersection represent the HCF. To work out the lowest common multiple of 90 and 63 with a Venn diagram, we will take every single number that is within the Venn diagram and multiply them together. This is 2 times 5 times 3 squared times 7, which is equal to 630. A train leaves the station every 30 minutes. Another leaves every 25 minutes. At 9 a.m. they leave at the same time. When is the next time when they both leave at the same time? The key word here is every 30 minutes. So we are talking about multiples. So in this question, we are going to have to use the LCM. To solve this, we list the multiples of 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and so on. The multiples of 25 is 25, 50, 75, and so on. So the lowest common multiple is 150. 150 is 2 hours and a half. 9 a.m. plus 2 hours and a half is 11.30 a.m. Julie wants to tile her kitchen. It measures 1.2 meters by 2.16 meters. The shop sells squared tiles with lengths of 11, 12 and 16 centimeters. Which of these should she choose to fit exactly? First, let's make sure that all measurements are in the same units. 1.2 meters can be written as 120 centimeters and 2.16 meters is 216 centimeters. Because we are talking about fitting the smaller tiles into a larger area, we are working with factors. So in order to solve this problem, we need to work out the highest common factor of 120 and 216. Because these numbers are bigger, we're going to use a prime factor tree. The first set of branches of 120 is 2 and 60. 2 is a prime number, so we stop there. 60 is not, so we will continue. The branches are 2 and 30, then 2 and 15, and finally 3 and 5. The branches of 216 are 2 and 108, 2 and 54, 2 and 27, 3 and 9, and 3 and 3. The highest common factor, the HCF, is the intersection of the Venn diagram, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and this is equal to 24. Because 24 is equal to 2 times 12, Julie should choose the square tiles with 12 cm length. To check whether we have chosen correctly, we can divide the length and the height by 12, and if it gives us a whole number, it means yes, it fits exactly. We divide 216 by 12, that is 18. 18 is a whole number, so it fits exactly. Then 120, the height of the rectangle, divided by 12 is equal to 10. It's a whole number, so it fits. Given that d is equal to 2 to the power 4 times 5 to the power 3 times 7, and c is equal to 2 to the power 3 times 5 to the power 4 times 7 to the power 2, Write down as a product of its prime factors the HCF and the LCM of D and C. D includes 2 to the power of 4 
and C includes 2 to the power 3. 3 of the 2s are common. 2 to the power 3 is common, we write it in the overlap section. There is a leftover of 2 that belongs only in the D section. 5 to the power 3 is another overlap, there is a 5 leftover that only belongs to C. Then only one 7 is common that goes in the intersection and there is a leftover of 7 that belongs only to C. The highest common factor, the HCF, is the intersection, which is 2 to the power 3 times 5 to the power 3 times 7. The question is asking us to leave it as a product of its prime factors, so we will not need to work this out. We can find the LCM by taking the product of every single number in the Venn diagram. 2 to the power 3 times 5 to the power 3 times 7 times all the leftovers 2 times 5 times 7. Simplifying this is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 5 to the power of 4 times 7 to the power of 2.